it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion on that team. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Carlos Black Jack Albert. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight. But if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue on this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Throws the teeth. Elbow there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. A frantic pace early on to this one. Try to establish that jab. A 
A swing and a miss by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Uppercut lands. Nice shot there by the champ. And that one certainly found the target. He looks like Pac-Man just taking so many strikes to the head. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. there for good measure. Clean punch. Collar tie here in the clinch. Lee gets caught by the inside leg. Two minutes here to go in round one. Oh, nice hook. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter oh, as we go forward. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Circling towards the left now. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Under a minute to go. Lee gets hit with the overhand there. Another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Checks the light kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show itself. Second round, straight ahead. We look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Right hook to the head, Ross. Right, Just unable to quite find that range. Talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Beautiful punch to the body. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Back kick there. Low kick lands flush. He's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. There it is. Now he's running out. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Beautiful transition. getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under two minutes to go in the round. Target team and him attack the body. Oh, he heard a bell of the jab. Checks that leg kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Cash money with that right hand counter. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landed those nice, beautiful punches. Oh, that head kick landed. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, man, the hard hook lands again. He's had that weapon going all night. It's one of his best strikes. He does a good job of turning on it, landing it, to get back to distance of safety so that he does not take anything in return. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, that one landed, yep. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go on the round. Oh, he's in trouble. 20 seconds left. Kickboxing 101. Oh, nice. Ten seconds to go in the round. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Good round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. 
The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. The corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Right, it seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at you. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. Oh! Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, good block there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. One minute to go in the round. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. He's cut. Get the elbow. There's work, guys. Straight punch lands. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. That kick is good by Lee. Fifteen seconds. Good defense. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round.
take a seat. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding the shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's Great so fight. jarring. Great. And then the blood starts to Great. go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, nice. Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight. And given this capacity crowd,